to talk about overseeding pastures and the importance of it and the hows and the whats and the wheres. This field here we overseeded this spring, mid-April, late April, somewhere in that time frame. Well, how do we do it? We use our livestock to do our overseeding anymore. We used to drill it or frost seed, and we've had varying degrees with the drill and frost seeding, but we've always had a very good success rate with overseeding using the livestock. And in the frost seeding, I'll post a picture of what you need to look for whenever you're going out to frost seed. We used our livestock to overseed clover into. We seed our clover at a rate of 10 pounds to the acre. This field here has three different types of clover. It has a mammoth red clover, a medium red clover, and a white clover. And it costs us approximately $20 an acre to do this. And I know there's a lot of producers out there, they don't use seed on their farms. Here in, in my area, I have some control areas on the farm where I never put a seed and they're very very low production they don't have the the newer varieties or the newer relief plants that are a little bit more productive so we have to put seed from time to time and we're not using a lot of seed on the farm anymore we use 200 clover seed and 50 pounds of fescue seed this year on the farm and I can't see where the our seed uh, cost is going to go much higher than that because it is an input. Rotating livestock multiple times a day can have its advantages and uh, overseeding pastures is one of them. If you look at the cattle or the sheep, sheep are great overseeders because if you watch a sheep whenever they graze their feet never stop moving. But the, we're using cattle, we've sold our sheep, <clears throat> but we're using cattle and those cattle, whenever they graze, they have a lot of impact with the surface of the soil. And as you all know, as grazers or farmers, it's very important for that seed to have the seed to soil contact. And those hooves moving across the soil surface actually help work those seeds in and get your germination. There's a lot of different ways you can get the seed out there. We broadcast our seed with a, a we use two different types of spinners that we built from front of our side by side and, and if any of you are interested in those I can make a video on them just comment in the section below. Some of the ways that you can get the seed broadcast and get a nice even broadcast across the farm is you can put a spin seeder or a spinner behind the tractor and, and broadcast it that way. It works extremely well. You, you can walk it on by hand. There's a lot of ATV attachments out there. I know a lot of Indians are using ATVs that you can get that you can put on with your ATV. Uh, throw it on by hand. Broadcast our seed across the field before the cows come in to graze. And then when the cows are in there grazing, being it's in the spring of the year, usually in the spring of the year, we're on a rotation of minimum four times a day. And having that minimum rotation of four times a day, we got a little, lot of hoof to soil contact and then having the hoof to soil contact it actually works that seed into having the seed to soil contact. Try to do this in the middle of summer um, you have a greater chance of failure because of the moisture levels into the soil. This year we never really went into confinement we've been out grazing most of the year and Our cows was out being rotated across stockpiled forages and full, 
in doing so, we still have grasses that are come poking through and they're nipping the tips off. But that's another video for something else. What are some of the indicators of the soil being healthy? Naturally having lots of grass, this is only 30 days regrowth. One of the things that I notice walking across a lot of these fields that are, have really good healthy soil is it feels like we're walking on a sponge. Let's take a look. Let's pull some grass back and look at the surface of the soil and see what it looks like. I guess Toby needed his scratch and scout. They love the photo bomb, you guys. You'll have to get used to it because that's something that they enjoy. They're always out here with me on the farm. Yesterday wasn't so much fun. All three of them got into a skunk and Mama and I had to give them a good old bath although it really didn't work if you guys have any any great remedies for skunk smell please leave them in the comments below we can use it As you can tell I'm having a very difficult time getting to the surface of the soil which that's a good indicator that it's very well protected as we want. Some of the indicators of good healthy soil is having a lot of, of cover on the soil. But you can see here, this cute little guy here, this is an earthworm midden. But you can see the granulation, the granulation in the soil. And those are the binders that help hold that soil together to help prevent erosion. Well, friends. I hope you found that useful and hopefully you can be successful on your farm. <laughs> Thanks, Scout. Subscribe, comment, like, and smash that notification bell. So long, friends.